Welcome. This is an HD video, so you may want to watch it full screen. So you've had a look at PM Robot, and you're thinking, hey, this looks awesome, but how do I get started? Well, I'm going to show you how. So let's click on Try It Now. Quickly set up an account. So let's pretend that I have a custom app development company called Happy Apps. And I have a client called Muffinopia, and they want us to produce an app called Muffin Finder. So I click this big blue button down here, and now I'm on my home page. So step one I can see is to add people to the project. So I can see I'm the manager, and there's currently no members or clients. So the first person I'll add is my client. So I'll enter her email address and name, click Add. System asks me if I'd like to invite this new user, so I say yes. And now Sally, our client, is in the project. I'd also like to add my developer, Bob. And for him, I'm going to set the member role, since he's a working member of the project. Click Add, say yes to send the email. Now you can see we have three people in the project, a manager, a member, and a client. Those are all the people I want in the project right now. So what next? I guess I'll go back to my home page. And now I can see step two is to create some milestones. So let's do that. Click the Create button here. And let's see, what did I promise Sally? Uh, I think the, that we said that we'd have a beta by the end of the month. So we'll add that one. Click Save and Add. Uh, and then I think that we said we'd have the final one at the end of next month. So we'll say Final. Save that. We can click List, get a list of uh, all the milestones we have here. And you'll also notice that the next milestone shows up here, beta, the date, and that that's 25 days from now. So let's go back to our home page. And we can also see our new milestone listed here. So what next? Well, next we need to create some tickets. So tickets are basically the cornerstone of PM Robot. Some companies like to organize all their tasks by sticking post-its on a wall. Tickets are essentially a virtual sticky note inside of PM Robot. So we're just starting out, so the first ticket I'll create is kind of a special one. I'm going to make it an asset ticket, which means it's basically a file or document that's important to the project. I've attached a file from my computer, and now I'll submit it. So now anyone in the project can access that file either from the ticket itself or from Project Files. This is a great place for logos, artwork, copy, and you can upload more files just by clicking the button or dragging and dropping. So now that we have the basics, it's time to get some work done. Let's make a new ticket here. This is for my developer. And it's also a bit special because I'm going to mark it internal. That will make it invisible to our client since they're not really involved in the code and source control. I'm also going to mark it high priority since it needs to be done before anything else. And I'll assign it directly to Bob on this page. Next, I can create some checklist items for Bob to make sure nothing gets missed. I can also post a note to Bob with some additional details. Once Bob has the source control set up, he's going to want to jump right into features, so let's create some tickets for that. We'll label this a feature, and we're going to target to have it done in the beta. 
I'll directly assign it to Bob. And I'm going to set the submitter to Sally, such that I'm basically submitting this on her behalf. And to speed things up, I'll check this checkbox so we can submit another one straight away. So let's say they'd also like to have a daily special list in their app. But they don't need that until the final. And we'll sign that to Bob and put it under Sally as well. Now that we have a couple of tickets in our project, we can have a look at the tickets list. This shows all the tickets in the project in priority order. You can adjust ticket priority using these arrows or open up ticket details using the magnifying glass. Now, of course, just as I was doing this, Sally phoned me up and asked if we could have the daily special list done for the beta. And I said, sure, no problem. So I'll just adjust the schedule to beta, hit save, and there, our ticket's updated. So just before we wrap up here, I'd like to show you a little bit what it looks like from a developer's perspective. So I'm going to assign this ticket to myself. So now that it's my responsibility, I need to estimate the effort and the level of risk. And let's say I spent an hour working on it today, doing not much. Now at some point in the future I'm done, so I'm going to mark it resolved. Testing performed, not much. Notes, it was really hard. And I spent another 10 hours doing lots. I marked that resolved. It turns green to show that it's resolved. And you can see that the ticket has been passed back to the client to verify. The last feature I'd like to show you is the news feed. This gives you a nice overview of everything that's happened recently in the project. And once the projects start getting really busy, you can use some advanced filtering and grouping to figure out what's really going on. So there's lots more to show you, but that should be enough to get you started. As always, if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Just use the Contact Us link and send us a message. Look forward to hearing from you.